Hi friends, in our last session we have seen functions, requirements and types of guideways. In today's session we are going to see shapes of uh, slideways along with that material used for slideways and different profiles of slideways with its applications. This is Fezan Kagri and I welcome you all to our lecture series of machine tool design. So let's begin with our first topic that is shapes of slideways. So as you can see on your screen, there are different sectional views shown for a slideways. Okay, so first type uh, indicates a flat slideway, then second V-shaped slideway, right? Third is a dot L type slideway, and fourth one is a cylindrical type slideway or a circular slideway, as you can see on your screen. Now we can say the commonly used shapes of slideways in a machine tool are flat, V-shaped, dot L, and cylindrical. This slideways can be either open or closed. Now, in this diagram, you can see the first I am showing with the cursor. So, this slideway I would say is an open type slide. Okay. And this slideway is called a closed type slideway. Why open type? Because it is its uh, surface is open and the uh, element or the operative element is going to slide on this slide. Whereas, in this type of closed slideway, the operative member will get inside the slideway to perform a necessary uh, desired motion. Okay, so because of that, this slideway is called a closed type. This one is called an open type slideway. Now, open slideways are preferred when a sliding velocity is high. So, this is the first condition that when we are going to prefer open slideways, when sliding velocity is higher. Now, it is necessary to provide a good retention of the lubricant in the interface, which means uh, there should be a lubricant provision between the slideway and the operative element. Closed slideways are employed when the sliding velocity is not high, but it is necessary to prevent a cheap accumulation and ensure its easy removal. Which means that uh, when high sliding velocity is not there, that is, the operative member is moving at a lower speed, at that time we can use which type? So we would say closed type. And second application is that. When it is necessary to prevent cheap accumulation within these slideways, then also we can use a closed slideways. Why? Because it ensures its easy removal. That is, a chip can be easily removed from this closed type slideways. Okay. Now, the plate slideway shown in figure A is easy to manufacture and its geometrical parameters can be easily checked. The closed version of a plate slideway has a poor lubricant retention property. While the open has a tendency to accumulate dirt, so both open and closed flat slideways requires elaborate device for adjusting the clearance. Okay, so from this we can clearly uh, say that a lubricant cannot be retained within a closed version, right? And even the dirt is going to get accumulated in the slideways. Okay, now let's move further. The V slideway that is shown in figure B and C is distinguished by automatic adjustment of a clearance under the weight of a sliding part. Less effect of wear on a machining accuracy and greater accuracy of travel. However, it is more difficult to manufacture this V slideways. Why? Because it would be much more expensive. The V slideways may be either symmetrical in shape or asymmetrical. So, you can clearly observe that a V-shaped slideway is a symmetrical shown in figure B, right? So, this is a slideway which you can see, it is a, sym a, sy a symmetrical shape and it is shown by these hashing lines, okay? So, a slideway in which it is asymmetrical, which means uh, the mirror image is not same, right? So, we can say that it is going to provide a less effect of fear on a machining accuracy and greater speed of travel, okay? Now, the symmetrical V is employed when a load on the slideway is vertical, which is rare. In the case of uh, unsymmetrical V, which is more commonly used in machine tools, the longer phase should be replaced uh, perpendicular to the direction of a resultant force. The included angle of the V, okay, so the V shape has an included angle both in open and a closed version, is generally 90 degree and 120 degree. So, sometimes in heavily loaded slideway, 
the apex angle of the open V is increased up to 120 degree. Why? So to increase the area of the load carrying surface. Okay. To increase the area. Okay. And thus reduce the pressure on the slight base surface. However, this, uh, this should not be made a general practice as it reduces the accuracy of a trap. Now, our next point is that a deeper V with a small apex angle provides high accuracy of travel and it should be preferred for a precision machine tool in which accuracy is of critical importance and the loads are relatively low. Now, coming to a dotel slide wheels. So, dotel slide wheels you can see in figure C. Okay, uh, sorry, figure D. Now, are compact and simple from a point of view of a clearance adjustment. But the manufacture and checking is more difficult than that of a flat and V slide waves. They are therefore used for two purposes that is where V slide waves are not found functional example in a vertical columns and where there are restrictions on a height due to space limitations. For example, in case of a carriage, saddle and knee. Okay, now let's proceed further. Coming to the last type that was a cylindrical slide waste, which was shown in figure E. So are simple to manufacture but are rarely used in machine tool beds due to following drawbacks. The first drawback is low rigidity because they are secured to the bed only at the end. Second drawback is extremely stringent tolerance as they are difficult to scrap or fit. And third, if the operative element is guided by two cylindrical slideways, its movement is constrained unless great care is taken at the time of assembly to ensure perfect parallelness between the two. Cylindrical slideways are, however, widely used in machine tools in situations requiring small and not too frequent movement, which is possible with only one cylindrical slideway. Example, columns of a radial drilling machine, over rings of a universal milling machines, lathe tail strokes, sleeves, etc. Okay guys, so I hope that you are clear with what are the drawbacks of cylindrical slideways that is going to provide a low rigidity, right? Resistance to deformation would be quite lower and they are secured to a bed only at the ends. That is, they are connected with the beds only at the ends. An extremely stringent, stringent tolerance, which means extremely small tolerance is provided, which is difficult to scrap or fit. Okay. An operative element is also guided by the two cylindrical slide base. So, its movement obviously is going to get constrained and time taken would be much larger. Okay. So, it would be required to ensure a perfect parallelness between the two. Now, let's proceed further in order to see the materials of slide base. Now, the most commonly used slideway materials are cast iron and low carbon steel and even in some cases low alloy steel. If the slideway is integral with the bed, it is almost exclusively made from a grey cast iron. Now, this grey cast iron is quite cheaper. Okay, it does not have a good wear resistance when subjected to heavy loading. The wear resistance of a grey iron slideways can be considerably improved to a proper heat treat, which means if we want to increase its wear resistance, okay, so that can be done only after doing heat treatment. For instance, induction hardening of one of the surface improves wear resistance by at least two times. If two sliding surfaces are hardened, the improvement may be up to four times and if only one sliding surface has been hardened, then it should preferably be the guiding surface of the stationary member. Okay, so it is very obvious that a cast iron and low carbon steel can be used. So if cost required is much lesser, so grey cast iron is preferable in that uh, we can say the bed and the slide base are uh, integral part and are constructed together. But the main problem would be of your Right, that is a surface could be easily removed where and tear can take place. So, where resistance can only be obtained if we do a proper heat treatment. So, this is very easy and obvious. Okay, now let's move further and we need to see application of slideway profile and the combination. Now, 
So you can see there are three columns shown. First column is of a slide way profile and combination. Second is a sketch column and third one is an application. This is the most important question that has been asked in exam. So you need to draw the sketch of this slide ways along with that mentioned applications that in which machines this type of slide ways are going to be used. So for beds, now for beds we can say a combination is open V plus open. Okay. So open V we have seen in a previous slide. So this is our example of an open V slide ways in which you can see a connection is shown between two and it is used for a planning machine. Next is closed V plus closed V. So this is an example of a closed V sketch which is uh, which can be used in precision lathes and turret lathes. Next is open flat plus open V. So you can see this is a flat uh, flat slide way connected with an open slide way. This is a sectional view. So you can visualize that throughout uh, we would say arrangement of slide way perpendicular to the plane. Okay, so perpendicular to your screen, it is a throughout arrangement of a slide way showing a sectional view. So application is surface branding machine. Next is closed flat plus closed V. So this is an example of a flat, uh, we would say flat slide way connected with a closed V slide way. So when it is going to be used, so general purpose slates and heavy duty boring machine. Okay. Now next is closed flat plus closed flat. So you can see a combination of both closed split and closed split, flat. And again, it's a sectional view. So on one side of a slide way, there could be a carriage and uh, we can say one side uh, hanging would be a carriage, right? And on both the slide ways, the surface, we can say a tail stroke is going to be moved, right? So heavy duty lathes, broaching machines and plano milling machines. Now for vertical columns, the arrangements of the slide way is shown. So for that, first is closed flat plus closed flat. So this is an arrangement of a closed flat type. Okay, in that we can clearly see both the arrangements are uh, connected with each other. And this is for a column that is a vertical portion. Most commonly used for all types of vertical column. Next is half closed dot L plus half closed dot L. Okay, now this is an arrangement of that and when it is going to be used. So the machines are knee type milling machines small vertical drilling machines and transverses of a radial drilling machines. Now next is closed flat plus half closed dot L. So you can see a closed flat which means the surface is flat over here. You can clearly see plus a half closed dot L. You can see a half closed and this dot L shape is given over here. Okay, so this shape is given same as above. So the application you can see over here same over here that is for a half closed. So that is knee type milling machines again. Okay, small vertical drilling machines and transverses of a radial drilling machines. Okay, now let's move further. Now we need to see for a cross slides and a compound breast. Okay, so cross slides we know that is going to move in a cross direction perpendicular to the axis of the workpiece. Okay, compound breast is going to give a swivel angle or and uh, it is used basically for a taper turning operation, right? So closed dot L over here you can clearly see this is a diagram of that. And it is going to use uh, use for cross slides and compound press. Next type of arrangement is closed flat and closed flat combination of two. Okay, so you can see this diagram is for a closed flat and used for cross slides of a heavy duty machine. Now for a rotary table. Okay, so there are two combinations. First is for a flat and second is a V. So you can see for a flat this is a diagram shown. So the surface is going to be flat and a rotary table, right? So when it's gonna use so surface grinding machines and small hobing machines and next is v type that is v rotary table so this is a diagram of that v shaped right so it is used for a precision gear hobing machine so these are the applications which you need to keep for a different combinations okay uh, so in today's session what we have discussed so we have discussed today that is shapes of slide ways different shapes okay that is v shape right dot l shape plate shape and cylindrical shape then after what we have discussed so the materials which could be used for a slide base that is cast iron right low carbon steel alloy alloy steel right and what are the benefits of a gray cast iron that is it could be used for an integral part right and next what we have seen so we have seen applications of uh, different slide way profiles right so in today's session we are keeping up till here in next session we will continue and see a clearance adjustment for a slide way. So till then,
stay tuned and thank you all